Hello everyone, welcome back to this tutorial series on how to build a vendor in Mendory system on Laravel 6. In this video, we will be looking at how to actually install Laravel then use the Laravel authentication method to log in and register to the system. Now let's open the command prompt and redirect it to the path c slash slash 64 slash www where we will be installing the Laravel folder. Now let's run the code Laravel new inventory system for installing the Laravel project where inventory system is the name of the project. It will take some time for installing so I am gonna pause this video and restart it once it is completely installed. Now let's redirect it to the project folder inventory system. Now let's run the command composer require laravel slash ui this this dev Now let's run the command PHP artisan UI view dash dash auth. This package actually provides the scaffolding of all the routes and the views. Before installing this npm, let's run our project. Let's see how it looks like. PHP artisan serve. Now let's go on our favorite browser and run it. Let's go on login. We can see the design how it looks like. It is not managed well. Now on the command prompt, let's close it and install the npm. Actually, we have will be installing this npl to compile the assets. These assets has been installed automatically when we have installed the Laravel UI. It will take some time to install it, so again I am gonna pause this video and restart once it is completely installed. Now let's run npm run dev. Now let's run our project again, PHP artisan serve. Let's go to the browser and refresh it. Okay, the, now the design looks fine. Let's open this sublime editor. You can use any of your favorite text editor. Here we will set up the database. Our database name will be inventory. Mind MySQL password is empty and username is root. You can change it accordingly with yours. Now let's go to the Chrome and localhost slash PSP my admin to create the database named inventory. Okay, here let's log in. And on new, we'll be creating our database with name inventory. Now on database migration, we can see that users table has been created automatically by Laravel for us. So let's go to the CMD and run the migration. But before let's manually configure the default string length. For that let's go to app providers, app service provider. Here we'll be manually configuring the default string length generated by the migration in order for MySQL to create indexes for them. Now let's import this schema here.
Now let's run the migration. Okay, our artisan spelling is wrong. Okay, now the migration has been successfully run. And let's run our project again. Now let's register on our system since we have already run the migration the database table has been already created for us automatically okay here now the passport confirmation and register okay the register has been successfully made So this much for today. Let's continue in the next video tutorial where we will be creating the backend layout for our system. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed on my channel then subscribe and click on bell icon so that you will be the first one to get the notification of my new video.